and she looked at me dead ass in the face and said, I don't care. <laughs> Everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with my February TBR for 2021 if you are new to this channel then you don't know this but my mom actually picks my TBR and she always has some little fun theme to go along with the books that she chose for the month this month her theme was music so without further ado let us get started so the first book that she chose and I think the one that kind of kicked off this whole thing was the song of the Achilles by Madeline Miller which I am actually actually so freaking excited to finally have a reason to read this book because everybody loves this book. I think it's like a romance between Achilles and Procleus or something like that. Pro Patroclus? Some other Greek god dude. But apparently it's super steamy and a lot of fun and obviously she chose this because you know song music fun times. The next one she chose was My Life in Black and White by Natasha Friend because of black and white on the piano keys, you know. This follows a girl who has been told her entire life that she's beautiful. Basically her whole personality is that she's pretty and then one day she ends up being in a car crash where she goes face first through the windshield and her whole world changes when she doesn't have that identifier anymore and it's like her dealing with that. I don't know if this is good. I do not know if this is bad. I have never heard anybody on booktube talk about this. I think I got this book off of Whitney from Whitney Novels. Like she did a giveaway when I first joined booktube and I ended up winning and I think I won this one and like body finder or something like that but she sent me like a bookmark and a cute little note that was really sweet but I think that this is what this is from and I still haven't read it so another wonderful opportunity to read my backlist books. The next book that she picked was The Infinite Noise by Lauren Shippen and noise is music, music is noise. It, it's a sound so it counts. This follows a boy named Caleb who has the ability to sense other people's feelings. His therapist says that he should try to explore the feelings of his classmate Adam and it's like the story of that. I'm assuming it's like a contemporary love story but I don't really know. But one of my goals for 2021 was to read my backlist art collection. So this month is going to be this book. Hopefully I'm going to get to it and I can check off that goal for February. The next book that she chose was Skipping a Beat by Sarah Pekkanen and this book I don't really know anything about. Like it doesn't have a synopsis or anything in the book on the back on the front flap like literally nowhere. I'm sure I could look it up on Goodreads but I don't want to do that. But the tagline says what would you do if your husband suddenly wanted to rewrite the rules of your relationship? The only other Sarah Pekkanen book that I've read was a collaboration with another author and it was like a thriller book so I believe that this is like a contemporary like coming of age kind of situation so it's probably gonna be very very different but she chose this because beat is a part of music the next book she chose was soundless by Rochelle Mead and this one I am hesitant on because when it first came out the reviews for it was not very good but I had originally bought it because Rochelle Mead wrote the vampire academy and I freaking love those books so you know I picked it up because of the author and I had also read the glittering courts by her so I was like really into her at that time but now I don't know I'm kind of hesitant to pick it up like I said but I'm hoping that I really like it. She had a very specific reason for this one and it was because when you go into like a music room like one of those soundproof rooms it's soundless so get it so music. The next one is the exact same reason as the last book but it is The Splintered Silence. Silence as in when you go in that room it's silent but it is by Kayla Olson and this is like a space opera I think something like that. When it first was released this was on my most anticipated releases video for that month. It follows a girl named Lindley Hamilton who is like the new commander of a ship because everybody on it including her mother just died. Her mother was the old commander so she kind of 
steps into that role but they all die because of this virus going on and the second generation all living on the ship are supposed to be immune to the virus but then people start dying so they're trying to decide whether or not this is a new mutation of the virus or if there's a killer among them and it's like the story of that so stabby stabby murder murder in space i'm here for it and then the final book that i have technically i chose but there's like a whole story behind that. But it is Elevator Pitch by Linwood Barclay. She had chosen a book called The Black Key, which is the third book in a series, and I told her that, and she looked at me dead ass in the face and said, I don't care. So I switched it out for this one because the word pitch is part of music, so <laughs> it's fine. This is like a psychological suspense thriller that takes place in Manhattan where there are a lot of skyscrapers, so there's obviously a lot of elevators. One Monday morning when people arrive at work, they get onto the elevator, they each click their perspective floor, but it does not stop on those floors. It goes all the way to the top, stops for a couple of seconds, and then drops. And obviously a lot of people are hurt in this freak accident, but then it happens on the Tuesday in another building, and then it happens on the Wednesday in another building, and people are starting to freak out. And it's basically these two detectives and a journalist trying to figure out what is going on behind this terrorist attack in Manhattan, and it just seems like it's gonna be a good time, so I'm intrigued and also never want to get into an elevator again, so. All right, everybody, so that was my TBR for February 2021. I do not know how much reading is going to be done this month because I am hopefully, fingers crossed, going back to work. We're currently in lockdown for the month of January, but schools are supposed to be opening up February 10th. I work at a before and after school program, so hopefully I'm going back to work, which means that I will not have a lot of time to read. I'm also in school getting my ECE diploma, so, you know, that takes up a lot of time. So school and work and trying to have a social life, maybe. <laughs> which really means just seeing William, my boyfriend, because I don't have actual friends, uh, means that reading might not happen. Who knows? We'll see. But let me know down below if you've read any of these books or what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!